Hi, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in the new BMW M4 CSL and next to me is a Porsche 911 GT3 and we're gonna have a drag race to see which of these lightweight specials is quickest in a straight line, even though they're actually more designed for track. Oh well, who cares? We're gonna do it anyway. Now let me tell you about this car. It has a three litre twin turbo straight six, puts out 550 horsepower, which is 40 horsepower more than the standard M4. So it's also got 650 Newton meters of torque. It drives the rear wheels only for an eight speed automatic gearbox with launch control. This car is 100 kilos lighter than the standard M4, but it still tips the scales 1,625 kilos. So it's quite a lot heavier than that. To find out about the Porsche, let's just see if Yanni knows anything about it. Yanni, so earlier on today, I told you some figures on the Porsche, gave all the stats. Can you remember them? What engine is in it? Four litre. There's something specific about a Porsche engine. What kind of configuration is it? Straight six, naturally aspirated. So that's one out of two. It's a flat six. That's the key thing with Porsche engines. Flat six, okay, remember that? Flat six. How much horsepower has it got? Uh, 640. No. <laughs> You're just saying numbers, aren't you? That's what I always do. I just say whatever pops into my head. It's got 510 horsepower and 470 newton meters of torque. So it's a bit down on power compared to this and way down on torque because this has got turbos and like you said, that's naturally aspirated. You've got a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. And that car is pretty light actually. 1,435 kilos, so loads lighter. Hopefully it will give me a little advantage. Might do, and also, because it's got its engine slung out over the rear axle, shouldn't have any problems with traction, whereas this one probably will, because it's front-engined and has loads of torque. Plus, it's a BMW, so let's see how good your launch control is. That Porsche costs £135,000, so it's more expensive than this BMW. If you like these kind of drag races and you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. You won't miss a single upload that way. And if you want to compare the car's stats side by side, pause your video now. There you go. Anyway, let's do this. Car wow. Now before we race, let's do the custom week car wow sound check. So I'm going to rev up this engine. Oh yeah. Sounds pretty good, but does the Porsche sound better? Go on, Jan, rev up your engine. Right, you need to do the cheat, right? Put it into drive. Pull both paddles and it'll let you rev it higher. Gotta love a cheat code. Yeah, it's a proper cheat code, isn't it, that? And that sounds better, doesn't it? One nil to me. Let's race! Yes, come on. That traction wasn't good there, it didn't launch well. Well done, well done, well done. Yeah, I mean, that was a clear win for you, but this just didn't launch. It just held itself back. The traction control just was like, nah, I haven't got enough grip. And it just held the power. So I guess you want to go for a take two. This time it just didn't do it at all. It was even worse than last. It just pulls off really slow. One thing you can say about Porsche, it delivers every day of the week, doesn't it? It always pulls. Yeah, maybe I'll figure it out next go. Here we go. One more go. No, Matt, no, 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 no. I've done about eight launches, 10 launches in this, man, no. <laughs> I can see him doing that. Right, 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 right. Come on, freaking do it properly. Hook up. Three, two, one. Yes, it hooked that time. A bit better than before, but not quite there. Oh, damn, 
damn, damn, damn, damn, damn. I think that's about as good as it's gonna do today. It launched decently, maybe could do a little bit better, but regardless, I don't think I'm gonna beat that Porsche. Yeah, it was a much better launch, but yeah, I think even if you've got it bang on, I still don't think you're gonna catch me. Yeah, it's really odd the way it does it. So it launches in second gear, and even though you've got the stability off, it's sort of like breaking the rear wheels to stop the rear wheels spinning up to just get your launching. And that time it wasn't over braking or slowing the rear wheels, so it went okay, but victory to you. BMWs are great cars. When are they gonna sort out the launches though? Because we've been experiencing this for how many cars, how many models, they still don't get it right. Porsche though, nails it every time. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Porsche won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.4 seconds. The BMW finished in 11.7 seconds. Okay, now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The car's in their sportiest settings and automatic mode for the gearbox. I count it in. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this messed around with its gearbox. I didn't know what it was doing. Can I catch him up to the half mile? The half mile is coming up now, come on. Oh, it's gaining. Come on, come on. Nah, couldn't do it. My gearbox was a bit rubbish there and it didn't know what to do with itself, whereas yours knew exactly what to do, didn't it? You were catching me though. I could see you catching me from a distance, obviously, but you were still catching me. You won that clearly. Let's take the gearbox out of the equation. Right, we did another rolling race from 50 miles an hour. This time though, manual mode. So I can't blame the gearbox now for kicking down slowly. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, look at that. Oh, no way. Oh my God, battered me. And now it's my turn. Finally, 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 I have something to smile about. Yeah, that was, um, that was embarrassing. Turbochargers, all the torque, it just comes on boost and it's off, whereas that, you've got to be revving it really, you know, above 5,000 RPM for it to really start pulling. Okay, let's do another rolling race. And to help you out, let's do it in second gear from 40 miles an hour. So you should be around 5,000 RPM and in your power band. Here we go then, you ready? Three, two, Closer, but still not enough for him. Nah. I missed the gear change, I hit it limit up. You're Mr. Gear Change, or you missed a gear change. That's your new nickname, Mr. Gear Change. Hello, Mr. Gear Change. Say hello to Mr. Gear Change. He misses gear changes. Very good, very good. Is that Mr. Launch over there? Hello, Mr. Launch. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We're doing that again. Yeah, because you missed a gear change. Hello, Mr. Gear Change. Mr. Gear Change and Mr. Launch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Mr. Gear Change can not miss a gear change. Let's go again. Second gear roll on from 40. Three, two, one, go. That's better. That time, you weren't Mr. Gear Change, were you? No, but you'll always be Mr. Launch. Okay, now we're going to do a brake test from 100 miles an hour. Which car will stop in the shortest distance? My camera's died, so I can't see the speed. So there we go, cruising at 100. Matt, where are you? Hello, Matt. Matt, I can't see you anywhere, mate. Where, where's he gone? Um, yeah, that's more than a car length. That's like utterly insane. I don't know whether I was just rubbish at braking or this just car just doesn't stop anywhere like a Porsche. I'm absolutely speechless. Thank God for that. And that's the end of this video. Click here if you want to see this video. Click here. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you did enjoy the video. Which of these two cars would you rather have? Put a pin comment, get in vote. Now, if you want to watch some more videos, just click on those windows there and then click on that box there to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. You don't want to miss any videos. Thanks for watching.